Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought today we'd switch it up a little bit. I want to let you guys in on a little unknown fact about me because I don't really talk about it. So I have, I don't collect a lot of things, I'm not a hoarder, but I do have an insane custom gun collection. I think I'm the only bitch that does this. I don't ever see anyone else with this level of just a demented custom gun color collection. So I have nine guns in total and I have them all laid out here for you guys. In the kitchen, they're normally not stored here. Um, I keep them in a bunker, but y'all don't need to see my bunker. So they're here for now. So a lot of people take issue with the fact that I like customizing my guns, making them fun colors, but I do what I want, so I don't really care. I, I like doing it. Obviously my favorite here, obviously my favorite here, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this one. This is my pink AR-15. It's customized with the BW initials, the Louis Vuitton, the Barbie pink, and her name is Regina. I have named her. Um, she is named after Regina George from Mean Girls. She just gives me that energy, you know, because she is cute. She is pretty, but she will kill you. So this is really just your standard AR-15. It's got a red dot optic and a foregrip. It's really just your standard AR-15. She is my favorite, and she's the one I've shot the most. She's kind of like my go-to if I'm going shooting with friends or just by myself. And in case the optic goes down, it does have side sights as well. And I just love her. She's my favorite. Although this is a close second. This is my custom Barbie pink flamethrower. I haven't named her. Maybe you guys can help me name her. Um, she is self-explanatory. She shoots fire. She shoots a lot of fire. And listen, I already know people are going to be like, what the f*** do you need a pink flamethrower for? Better question, why wouldn't I need a pink flamethrower? And also, if this is the weirdest thing about me that I've customized is a flamethrower, you're looking past a lot. I've kind of customized my car, my face, my body. Like, this is probably the least crazy thing I've customized. So she is an exothermic pulse fire LRT. And how far does she shoot again? She shoots about 25 feet. I'll put a video in. I did shoot her recently, so you can see that. So yeah, that makes up the Barbie collection. I do want to get a matching handgun, like a pistol or something, because that seems kind of self-explanatory. I should have a smaller one of these, but you know, leave in the comments what handgun I should get to match the pink ones. So this is the Draco NAC 9, and she's been customized purple and orange. This is like the official wrapper gun. You see a lot of wrappers having them, and obviously I needed one as well. It's chambered in nine millimeter. It's a semi-automatic. So I have a curved magazine to sort of keep the classic AK look. And I think she's iconic as well. Although he is a boy, maybe feeling in between, maybe non-binary, you know, these are the non-binary colors, right? Um, but her name is Draco, like Draco Malfoy, but like she, because she's going through some things. Kind of like me. So I don't customize every single gun that I have. Obviously some should be classic. Hopefully the sort of like gun fanatics in the comments will appreciate at least some of them not being a crazy color. Um, but I did add a, you are fired here. Because why not? So she does have a laser, as you can see. Obviously her name is Donnie, you're fired, Donnie. Um, and honestly, I feel like if she ever went down like in a post-apocalyptic setting, she's probably the gun I go to first. So this is the first gun I ever got when I lived back in Los Angeles and I did name her the Jessica because I did get her immediately after Jessica Need the pal doxed me and people were threatening to come kill me in my house because my address was public. So I said, you know what? If anyone wants to come get me, uh, they're gonna die in the name of Jessica Need. She does have a streamlight laser light combo because you know, this is the kind of gun that if you're attacked at night, which if it's the one next to my nightstand, it's gonna be at night girl it's a glock 34 long slide and she is in my nightstand every single night so this is the one that if anyone comes in to you know me hurt me kill me um just be annoying in general i'm reaching for that one so this one's insane so this is my caltech ksg she's a 12 gauge bullpup shotgun and I just think the fire red engine is so sickening. What makes this one special, which I have also not named, please put a name in the comments, is that she can hold 14 rounds and one in the chamber. And I just think she would get not just the job done, but like any job done. I put some spikes in the front just because I'm a crazy person. Oh, and also one other really cool thing about her is that you can keep a round, which I do, of dragon's breath in here, just in case you wanna shoot fire. You know, maybe it's just like a Wednesday and you just wanna shoot fire. And the elephant in the room here, you guys, is that obviously the way these are colored and the way they're designed is they do look like toys, right? Like that is what's happening. Few things, 
I don't have any kids. I don't have any kids who are ever welcome in my house. Not that I have anything against kids, but I don't have friends with kids, at least kids that come over. Um, these would never be in the reach or vicinity of children. So obviously, like, if you have kids, do not customize your guns like this. You don't need to do this. This is what losers like me do because I have no friends and no family. Like, this is, <laughs> this is what crazy people do. Don't be a crazy person. Just live vicariously through me. So next we have Miss Katrina, and I call her Katrina because she does look like a super soaker, which means she can and will get you wetter than Hurricane Katrina. I absolutely love her. I think she's so fun. This is also an AR-15. Clearly I have a thing for ARs. As you can see, she's a little different than the other ARs. I did throw a 60 round drum here in the front. It's a pretty, I guess, basic scope here on the top, but I have 60 rounds, so I'm gonna hit the target. And she's sickening. Shout out to Katrina. Okay, so next up we have these, which this is a Glock 26. It's one of the smallest Glock. It's not for everyone. I do have small hands, contrary to people who want to clock me in the cobbits. Um, so it is perfect for me. So I did have issues firing her until I put this little pinky grip here on the magazine. Uh, but she's sickening and she can also, you know, pop you. So here's where things get very interesting. You know, you have a little baby Glock, you know, she's doing her thing when she's small. We're actually going to combine these. Transformers. We're actually going to combine these to make one much larger cooler gun. So now it's a Glock 26 and a CAA micro conversion kit. And she's a lot more sickening than before. I went ahead and threw a dick on my Glock. That's what the wrappers all call it. There's also another light right here. And the thing about it is that throwing it in a micro conversion kit actually greatly increases the accuracy of the baby Glock, so it's a better gun because of it. So this is a Rock Island Armory VR80, and she's a little hard to carry, I'm not gonna lie. This one's like, but you going to war. Like, you're straight up going to war, like, period. She's not convenient at all. It's a semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun, and um, yeah. So normally, if you know this gun, you know it comes with a five-round magazine, right? However, because I'm a psychopath, I decided that it needed a 19 round rhino horn. Uh, that's what it's called, I think, rhino horn. Uh, she's, she's nuts. She's not any custom color, obviously. Some, like, I feel like the most badass ones, I'm like, I gotta keep them kind of like, they're just black, so they're sleek. I don't know what to say, they're not a custom color girl. I'm gonna put her down, she's actually really heavy. So by the way, if you're wondering if I'm the one that custom paints all these things, of course not, I can't even draw a stick figure. So I'll actually have a company custom paint all my guns for me and it is called Ape Arms. This is not sponsored. This is just a genuine shout out because they're amazing. So they exist in the metaverse, whatever the f that means. And they actually create art pieces in the real world, which that part, I guess I get, but I don't know what the, f the metaverse is girl, but they're there. So if you know what that is, they're there. So you guys can actually go to apearms.wtf and they're actually giving away a custom flamethrower and girl you want one of these and you can get it in any color so listen that's all nine of my guns and i know it's crazy but now we're going to take them out and go shoot them so you guys can actually see me shooting them and we're going to go have the ball so let's go holy sh you have it nice and tight in your shoulder yeah all right and then i would step forward a little bit kind of lean this one's yeah. a bit more recoil than you're used to but not bad All right, you guys, make sure you enjoy the, make sure you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different than the usual content, but you know, you gotta do that sometimes. And one last little disclaimer that again, this hobby, this incredibly demented hobby is not for people with kids, in my opinion. Um, this is for people with no family, no friends, and really no life and how they get enjoyment. You know, that's what I do. Keep that in mind.
make sure you guys are subs to this channel as well as my podcast channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys